Okay guys, we're out here today. We're, we're in our yards. We're doing our second round of apiary guard and we're going to continue feeding and putting on pollen patties. I'm going to bring you along just kind of video what we're out here doing. There's not much to really discuss. We discussed it in the last video. If I, if I think of a, a highlight topic to tell you, I will. But uh, yeah, we're just basically going through retreating with apiary guard. This is the second dose and we're going to be doing at least three and maybe four of the 25 uh, milliliters because it's so hot. If you notice, they've, they've removed most of the, all the apigard off the applicator pad and they're chewing it up, they're trying to get it out. That's exactly what you want to see. So now we're just going to put 25 more on it. That's 25 more milliliters. How far you do? Just a little bit. Okay. We're just going to spread that out right there and let the bees work it. And throw them another little bit of pollen supplement on here and give them some feed. Okay guys, the wind noise picked up. We had to take our uh, microphone cover off because the bees are after it. If you look here, this was that smaller colony. If you can tell, there's definitely been a round of brood that's hatched out. It's growing. And we're going to give them some more apigard, just like before. Um, keep in mind, it is going to slow that queen down a little bit, but that's okay. Um, she'll bounce back. And what I mean by slowing her down is... Uh, the, she'll, she'll stop laying for a week or two, uh, which is a good thing in my opinion when you're trying to control mites. So that's basically all we're doing. Remember this feeder's clogged up, so we're gonna have to take our time with it. It's nice to see a colony like this bounce back. Uh, it's been troubled for a while. Uh, we requeened it twice, uh, hit it with some oxalic acid. I don't think that, I think it killed some of the mites, but I'm really not sure what was holding this colony's build up back. But I think we got a good queen in there with good genetics and, and I think she's gonna pull this colony through the winter for us quite all right. Same with this colony, they've, they've tried to remove the pad, which is what you want to see. Is there any more than that? No, that's good for that. We'll just give them another one in a week. That's fine, yeah. Okay, we're going to close this one up.
Okay, guys, keep in mind it's a dirt. And if you look at the size of this box of bees, this isn't typical. Now, in our area, the reason our, our boxes are full like this is because we're stimulating that queen and we're keeping her pushing forward instead of having her slack off by not laying because there's no nutrition coming in. This box is also full. If you'll zoom around here, I'll show you the bottom of the box. I mean, it's just covered in bees. And that's because we're keeping these colonies stimulated with sugar syrup and uh, pollen supplement. And in our area, it's vital to have good, strong colonies going into winter. Our winter's not bad, but I like to have a big cluster going into winter, so I got some bees to work with coming out, coming into the spring. Um, and since we've started this method of management, as far as keeping our bees, you know, fed during the dirt, we we've really benefited from it, and it's helped out a lot. Um, now keep in mind, these colonies are still going to shrink some because the queen, even though we're feeding them, the queen's not going to want to build this colony up. Oh, goodness. Build this colony up the way she would during the springtime. This fell off, so I'm just going to check it for some, uh, for the queen, make sure she's not in here anywhere. And I don't see her. I hope, you know, it shouldn't have fell off, but it did. But we're going to, uh, continue to maintain these colonies by feeding them but they are going to shrink due to attrition bees are dying every day and the queen's not continuing to produce as many eggs as she was as you can see this is a box of bees for sure they're working this apa guard real good in the pad uh, and that's what you want for a really good mite kill you want them to be in here working it now keep in mind next the next round, we'll move this apa guard to this part of the box just for extra coverage. I don't think you have to do it, and it's not necessary, but it's something we like to do just to make sure that product gets throughout the whole colony uh, as easily as possible. And then we'll come back through after the third round. We'll do a mite wash and determine if we need to do a fourth round. Okay, guys, if you can see here, this is the remnants of the pad that this colony's been working on. That bee's trying to get that pad out of the colony. Uh, so we're gonna help him. We may he, he's doing he's struck. He's working hard to get it out of here So we're gonna help him. We're gonna pull him off of there and make sure he's okay And when the pads like that just go ahead and add another pad and We're gonna feed these up and put some more apa guard on it. And we're gonna move on because it's fixing the storm Good, strong, healthy looking colonies. Can That's I put a, this on? Yeah. Just put it right there. And this is what we like to see, guys. I mean, small colonies here in the summertime is not a good idea for us. This, this feeder's plugged up again, as you can see. So we really need to get in here and take care of that issue. There's some bees down there. They're wet with sugar syrup, but their their sisters will clean them off really nice. full of bees guys and this is what your colonies will look like if you keep them stimulated and you got a good queen already you got that other pad and uh, especially during the summer just gonna, I'm gonna leave this in here because it's still got some of that apa guard on it but I'm gonna put a new pad on top I'm gonna give them 25 milliliters again and I'm gonna give them something else to work on Okay guys, this colony, it's been smaller, like I said. They've got some syrup, but it's almost still the, the same level as it was before. That tells me that this colony, there could be something, some kind of issue going on with it. Healthy bees normally eat a lot. And maybe they're just small and they can't really capitalize on the syrup yet, but this is a colony we're gonna wanna keep a check on. 
and uh, make sure they're doing good. They've got brood in it and they've got a queen. We checked it last time, um, but they're just not eating the way I want them to eat. Pollen pay. But we are gonna give them another piece of pollen supplement. The other one was getting dry. So we're gonna put that on there and that. We're gonna hit them again with the apiary guard, but we're gonna make a note on the lid to keep a check on this one. And we're not going to give them any more feed uh, other than the pollen supplement because they hadn't used what they had and I don't want to waste it. Okay guys, more of the same. A lot of bee activity here. They're looking good. And I attribute all of this, it's not to me being a great beekeeper, it's, it's for me being a good bee helper. And all I'm doing is I'm keeping these colonies fed during the dirt and keeping them protein supplement where that queen can continue to do her job and lay. Now it's not really going to stimulate it as much as it's going to help her to lay if, if they're so inclined to do so. But it really helps to keep these colonies going by feeding and, and adding protein supplement. And when I say that, I'm not talking about gorging the colony and, and filling it uh, Backfill in the brood nest because they're going to use most of this to raise baby bees on. Smoker. Just going to smoke these bees a little bit to get them back. Get them back down into the colony so we're not squishing bees everywhere. We're also going to smoke here to run the bees up into the top. And he's going to set this box back down. It's heavy, it's full of honey. So as long as we, with this box being full of honey, as long as we keep these colonies fed, this box is right on track for the winter. A lot of bees on the top. I always check for your queen. More of the same guys, just going through. It's real monotonous, but it's real important work. We got this feeder half full. They had taken most of their syrup. Now we're gonna close it back up. He's gonna put that box on top. Set it right here. And it looks like most of the brood is in this box and this box, so we're going to take this off. We're going to take our rim off. Pick that box up for me. But as you can see, they've worked that product. They've trans transferred it down through the hive, which is what you want, but I'm going to put this right here closer to the brood nest. Oh, We're going to give them another dose of it. He's going to put that one on top. We're going to close this box up.
Okay guys, we're just continuing in another yard. We're doing the exact same thing. We're uh, giving pollen supplement and uh, filling these feeders up and throwing on another dose of Apigard. It's kind of monotonous work, but it's important work and it's work that has to be done. So don't just go through the honey flow, collect your honey and forget about your bees. Keep in mind that they have nutrition needs during the, the dirt and um, even though they got a box full of honey right here that's not going to keep that queen stimulated to lay as well as giving them a little bit of trickle feeding here and there so we're going to do another 25 milliliters of acre guard on this colony and close it up all the colonies that distributed all the acre guard it's completely empty in every one we've been in so far so that's what we're doing. If you got any questions, guys, leave them in the comment section below. Uh, we really appreciate you watching, and happy beekeeping.